Mówi się, że jeśli odniesiesz sukces w Nowym Jorku, to nie ma przed Tobą żadnych granic. Ale czy odnieść ten sukces jest łatwo? Jak tak naprawdę mieszka się w Wielkim Jabłku? Między innymi tego próbowałem się dowiedzieć od samych zainteresowanych – Nowojorczyków. Tych starałem się znaleźć w miejscu, w którym spędzają sporą część każdego dnia – w metrze. Najpierw jednak poszukałem odpowiedzi na pytanie, kim tak naprawdę są Nowojorczycy. Swag. 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 You gotta have swag in New York. You got swag in New York. Yeah, you got swag in New York. Yeah. You could live here if you got swag. You got swag. You just gotta have tough skin, bro. You gotta have tough flesh. You gotta have tough flesh to live in New York City, man. You know, if you don't have, if you're not built for it, then it's it's a lot. Gotta move to Ohio. When you come to New York, you are a New Yorker because. You know, once you once you come to New York, and I feel like even people, immigrants, even people from all over, tourists that come to New York, I feel like they still New York because they love it. It's like, the original. Yeah, like <laughs> original. We the original people. What do you mean original? Like everything comes from New York. The way people talk, the way they dress, everything is just based out of New York. Like, movies, everything. Like. And we don't sleep. The city never yeah, sleeps. <laughs> I don't think you can really define what a New Yorker is. An individual who you are, it makes you who you are in New York. And I'm not, I'm not a, a New Yorker by blood, but like you know, I kind of just feel like I belong here. Like everyone else does. Who is it? You kind of just end up feeling like you belong. You can't just really define what a New Yorker is. New Yorker to me, they are a very loving person. They are very helpful. The one thing I found New Yorker, they don't just like ignore you or you. They will try to help you. I've been to so many situations, like badly stuck in trouble, stuck on train, everything. They help me out through it. People are so nice, they help me. So I would just say New Yorkers are like loving people. They are crazy people. They are very friendly and they're full of fun. But they don't have time. The time is money over here. New Yorkers are people who are aspiring to become better than themselves. They're like anywhere else. And there are people here who just want to be free, so they get lost in society. There's a tremendous amount of freedom. There's no judgment of anyone. Jak więc wygląda życie w Nowym Jorku? The price of living is high, but if we lived, if we could live like on average, you know, average rent, then we would be the perfect place. If we could, if it was affordable, basically, then it would be the perfect place. But that's the only thing bad about New York is that it costs a lot to live. Salaries are also fairly high if you're doing something uh, well. If you're on the bottom end, it's very difficult to live. If you're a banker, it's <laughs> it's great. It's really nice to live over here. Like I, I always wanted to be here, but it's crazy for my sister. She doesn't want to live over here. Let me tell you what, because. For her, it was like a big cultural shock when she came over here. She already, I was growing up when I came over here, and she already knew up. Um, so she saw all those morals, values, the things she got used to of it over there. So she can't change it, even though she tried. Sometimes she tried to fit in, she can't. So it was kind of hard for her. But for me, I'll talk to her for myself. That I like it over here. I really like. It. I don't want to go here. I don't want to go nowhere. New York is too expensive, and I'm going to retire in a different state down south. In the best bar, uh, being for example, best bar, Georgia. Well, I mean, because there are houses out there, there, there are houses, a house I'm looking at is like $200,000. A house like that in New York would cost me $3 million. And it doesn't pay to live in New York. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, it depends on the person, on the individual. You don't understand? Uh, if, you, if you're built for New York City, then you can live out here. If you're not built for New York City, then it's not for you. Mm -hmm. For me, like a European, I couldn't make it. I mean, yeah, you can make it, but it's like... He, he's saying well you can definitely make it anybody can make it in New York that's point break period you got ambition you got you got a source of income you can make it in New York that's how I feel it's a hard living in New York man it's, it's, hard? it's, it's, it's hard it's a hard living in New York and they say if you go out of town or you go somewhere else it's a better living but New York too much it's too it's too fast too fast. Rozmawiając z Nowojorczykami poprosiłem ich o małą podpowiedź, których miejsc lepiej unikać, a które zdecydowanie trzeba odwiedzić. Stay out of Brownsville, man. Don't go to Brownsville. Why? Just don't go there. Brownsville, East New York. If you don't, if you don't got no business there, don't go there, man. Stay out of Brownsville. 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 Stay
but yeah, stay away from me. I like to go to different places, even if it's I know it's bad, just to experience, just to see what it's about. Because I feel like if you're afraid to go to certain places, that doesn't open up your mind to see different things. You have to, you can't see one thing, you can't stay in one spot. Because you're going to get comfortable to that spot. You're not going to never want to go nowhere. But opposed to going to other places that's around you, and you see other places, then, you know, it, 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 makes you, it, it makes you learn more about life. It makes you learn more about New York, Brooklyn, just how people act and everything. Actually, I like uh, the, uh, the Metropolitan Museum. People tend to think of, you know, places like Harlem and, uh, you know, East New York. And, but I was a social worker, so, or I am a social worker. So I worked a lot of those places, so I, I find them quite fine. We lived in the Lower East Side when it was burning down and was a drug dealer's heaven. And uh, so, and if you live there, you get to know it and you know who people are. And so, uh, if it's your neighborhood, then it's okay. I'm actually a party freak. <laughs> I like partying a lot. So, Saturday nights, we actually go outside clubbing and everything. I'm actually Where do you go to party in New York? For partying, um, Pasha is a really nice place. Le Souk is a really nice place. I like smoking coca, so I go to Cloud Nine as well. And um, for if you really want to enjoy nature and everything, you gotta go to Central Park. It's a really nice place. Like it's calm out there, greeny everywhere. Like running, cycling, go for it. It's a nice way over there. I don't go to the ghetto. I don't go to like the the out of boroughs. I don't go there because it's very dangerous. And I can't stand the fucking tourists because they're always like walking like molasses. I mean, they just stop like everywhere. I'm like, no, I gotta go to work. <laughs> I'm going home. I, I want to put the I want to throw the Bronx under the bus. <laughs> I want to put the I want to throw the Bronx under the bus. I really don't like traveling to the Bronx for real. Uh, huh? Why? It's scary. It's, it's scary, and I don't know what I'm gonna get into for real. Like, it's an adventure. It's a daredevil type of thing. When you go to the Bronx for some reason, you don't want to get on that six train. Me? <laughs> will I travel anywhere in New York? I will travel anywhere in New York. I, I'll travel any far boroughs. It doesn't matter. Nowy Jork to miasto, które przyciąga jak mało które na świecie. Nowojorczycy są z niego dumni, turyści nie mogą wyjść z zachwytu. Zarówno jednym, jak i drugim nie prędko do opuszczenia miasta czy przeprowadzki, bo jak sami mówią... Nothing's better than New York. Yeah, New York City.